the coalition. Um, one thing I did want to ask now, this is a question that Gary uh, came with after we found out about this news. He wanted to ask, what other games would we like to become uh, next flip, new Netflix series? Um, so if you guys have any ideas, you can go first, because I, I need to think about this question a little bit further before I give I my answer. I think there's some obvious ones. There, there's some obvious ones that people have talked about, which I think should happen. I do think we should get a Zelda Netflix series. I think Zelda would be really well done in a series format, not a movie, because there's so much story you could get out of just one Zelda game. Or, you know, look at any of the Zelda games, look at any of the stories of, from the Legend of Zelda series, and you could be like, yo, you could get at least a good 20, 26 episodes out of this, you know, hour a pop very easily and stuff. So there's like really easy ones like that. You know, you can say the same thing about Metal Gear to throw out another Konami franchise and stuff. There are games that are like that that I feel could work well in a series format. The thing is, and the reason why I say most game adaptations could work well as like TV series or Netflix series is because the same amount of time that's translated you know, from the game to the to TV series, I think it work well. You know, trying to compress everything into two or three hours from an entire series with a legacy that's like, you know, really big or it spans many, many years and such, that's very difficult. And again, things get lost in translation. But when you go to like a TV series or to like a Netflix series where there's a lot of creative freedom and you have a, a good amount of time to devote to a buildup and a climax and a conclusion, you know, in the same vein of which the source material is based on and such, that is really good. So, though, though, at least those will be probably be my picks anyway. What about you, Gary? Yeah, um, you mentioned one that I was thinking about, Metal Gear Solid. But the thing is with that, like, I would only want that if Kojima is involved because you you just can't do that without Kojima. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, uh, I'm just I'm gonna say no to that one, but it would be great if Kojima was involved. Um, some other ones I thought about was Street Fighter, because I know they did some animes before, so it would be cool. If they, they did live action cool. already. They got two series that are live action on, on uh, YouTube. Okay. But I always preferred the, the animes for Street Fighter, but, I mean, yeah, they could do live action too. That would be cool. Um, and uh, Resident Evil would be a cool <laughs> one, I think, for, for Netflix. And also Uncharted was one I thought about. And, and also Assassin's Creed, because, you know, the movie failed, obviously, we all know it was going to be, be a flop, but I feel like oh. if they if they could do, if they could really take it there in a series, like in a Netflix series, that would be incredible. So uh, that's another one. But then the one I was really thinking of is, wouldn't it be great to see like a Game of Thrones-esque style God of War series like that? That would be incredible oh, hell yeah. if they did it right. Mm, like, that that sounds like it'd be awesome. Like again, there's there's examples of stuff like that that can work. That if you take like third series, and I, I think I really believe that most video game series, if not all video game series, could work well as TV series like that. But to me, that sounds pretty dope because you, you could base it off stuff that the general public knows about or has an affinity for. Uh, God of War taking stuff from Game of Thrones, like you said, I think that'd be awesome. Uh, having uh, Uncharted borrow a lot of stuff from Indiana Jones, you know, that'd be amazing. You could even argue. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, borrowing stuff from like Hercules, the Legendary Journeys. You know, again, this is just for sake of the argument. This is just for sake of example, you know, to throw out the idea that these things can work. You just need the right people behind them. Absolutely. Yeah, indeed. I think that uh, God of War one would have like a, a really fat budget though. Like, oh, whoa, uh, whoa. I, know, I know Game of Thrones, like that budget is huge. So like, <laughs> they're, they're, like how I'm visualizing it, they would need like a, a really big budget for, for that. And show. it needs to be epic. It needs to be epic scaled. It needs to be like a lot of CG. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you could do it because again, Game of Thrones has a lot of CG in it in like the later seasons, especially with the dragons. And so, so I think they can make it work. Yeah. Hey, that's a great idea. Those, those are all great ideas. You know, the God of War one, especially. Uh, I, what I, what I think that, you know, I, I do want to offer one, one correction, Gary, uh, we were wrong about Assassin's Creed because the movie ended up making a ton of money overseas. Um, and so much so that Ubisoft is now you're more than likely to see a sequel. Um, but I will say this, wow. I, I personally think that, you know, a lot of, I, I know, I know a lot of these studios are trying to make movies now. Of course, Ubisoft, they're going to make, they want to do a movie for the, for, for the, the, the division, so on and so forth. I know Sony is trying to do Uncharted. What I think that they should all consider, if they haven't already, 
is consider making these movies directly on Netflix, as opposed to just putting a lot of money into a studio to put it out there for everybody to see it. Now, obviously, they will get more of an audience. Well, in their minds, they will figure they'll get more of an audience at a theater versus Netflix. But there's a lot of reasons why. I mean, I don't know. I don't know many people who don't have a Netflix uh, subscription right now because there's a lot of stuff on there with the original content, stuff that's always coming to Netflix. I think that that would be something that they should consider, even if they had an idea for a series that they wanted to do, and they want to test it out before they try to make it a big, big budget movie. They should consider doing some type of Netflix show, um, because that's a that's that is a valuable that is a very viable option. I would I would think. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, like, I, I really want more, you know, um, companies to put their IPs in, you know, on Netflix and make shows and stuff out of them, or exclusive movies or whatever. Because, like, I'm the type of person, like, I like ever since Netflix has come to the UK, I've been subscribing to it. Like, I've never stopped and. There's months where I don't even watch anything on Netflix, but I want to stay subscribed just because I want to support them so that we can get more of our like favorite, you know, IPs on there. So like, I, I really hope that we do get more, you know, cool stuff and more video games on there because I think it's a better outlet than making, you know, a movie or out of a video game because historically we've seen that um, video game movies never work, but I feel mm-hmm. like th- this could really work. Absolutely, absolutely, and the audience will be a lot more receptive to that uh, because even if they are not interested in the show, they have a lot of other shows that they can check out and other movies they can check out for that uh, that price of nine ninety nine. And uh, let me go ahead and say a disclaimer: No, Netflix is not paying us to say this. I'm just talking about how good the service is and how they have a lot of good stuff on there. Um, but yeah, that's the option that I think some studios should consider, especially if they don't want to spend a massive amount of, of money making a movie and putting it out in theaters. They should test it out and put it on Netflix first to see whether or not it has an audience, whether or not it has a huge reception. And then from there, you can decide whether or not you want to make a full length feature film for a theatrical release. Um, but yeah. we'll see what happens. I mean, yeah, a lot of Sony franchises would be great. Um, so, but we'll see what happens. Can Can you think of any Xbox ones that would be good? Uh, Halo, I mean, Halo, yeah, yeah, Halo. Halo. That, that's the, that's been a thing for like a long time in like movie studios. And we heard about with, uh, what is it? Um, uh, was it, uh, Steven Spielberg, I think at one point was attached to it to actually be involved with it. And that ended up turning into, I think was the Halo, uh, was it the Halo, uh, not reach, but the other like live action thing that they did on Xbox live at one point. If you guys remember what I'm talking about, I can't remember the name of it, but like that, that'll be like my go-to thing, at least, you know, for the Xbox brand. Cause I mean, you could, you could, you try to do a thing like killer instinct now because it, it they, they have like a hold on that at this point. And you're going to immediately get comparisons to like mortal Kombat. I feel like mm-hmm. with the different brands and the different studios that are going to put all that money invested into it, they're going to want to have stuff that it's like builds their own uh, unique identity and franchise in that other medium and not try to be associated with anything else. You're not trying to be that other like diet soda compared for like between Coke and Pepsi. Like, you know what I mean? Like I don't think they really want to fall into that type of territory. Yeah, I mean, it, what you said, yeah, yeah, you, you, you're right. And what you said about Halo, I mean, they have so many stories they could tell. It doesn't necessarily need to be about Master Chief, uh, per se. They have so many stories they can tell about the universe. Uh, I think it does, though. I think at that point, that's their big money-making cow. Because, granted, Chief has been in the other live actions and interpretations of Halo. I think that that's what people want, and that's what they know people want. And I feel like that's what's going to get butts in the seats. Oh, well, well, hey. I, I I figured that they, they knew this as well, but, uh, you know, Master Chief wasn't in Halo 5 that much, so I don't know. Um, but, yeah, they, they yeah, he, he, he should be in there, obviously. But, uh, you know, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what Microsoft decides to do. If that, I mean, that that's a great, that's a great option to have. I would love to also see a Gears of War series. Um, but I mean, it's I mean, I, I, what I have noticed on Netflix, a lot of science science fiction stuff is on there. It's very big popular right now. So um, these are opportunities that they definitely should be taking advantage of. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But uh, yeah, great ideas all around. The God of War show needs to happen. Uh, hopefully.